Hello everybody, my name is Ariana Tangoma. I'm gonna go ahead and begin my presentation on t-test. So our objectives for this presentation are the learner will be able to define t-test along with the learner will be able to identify and differentiate between types of t-test using the flowchart. So what is t-test? A t-test is a type of inferential statistic used to determine if there is a significant difference between the means of two groups. So we're going to go ahead and begin with independent t-test. So independent t-test is also called two samples t-test, independent sample t-test, or student t-test, is an inferential test that determines whether there is a statistically significant difference between the means in two unrelated groups. Okay, if we look in front of us, we have a big old flow chart. We're gonna go ahead and follow the blue boxes. So the first question is, are you examining relationships between variables or examining a difference between groups or one or more variables? So we go towards the right, it says, I'm examining differences between groups or one or more variables. Our next question is, are the same participants being tested more than once? We're gonna go ahead and say no. How many groups are you being, are you dealing with? We're dealing with two groups. So that is how we know we are testing for independent samples. And we're going to go ahead and move on to dependent samples. Um, so they are also called paired t-tests or paired sample t-tests. It compares to the means of two related groups to determine whether there is a statistically difference between these means. Okay, we're looking at the same flow chart that we saw previously. So we're going to go ahead and go to that second box and to that second question. It says, are the same participants being tested more than once? We answered yes. How many groups are you dealing with? We're dealing with two groups, then we know we are testing for dependent samples. And you'll see in these other areas of the chart that there are many answers and um, different tests that will result in the answer that we are asking ourselves. Okay, so now we have an example. Okay, we're going to be calculating an independent sample t test for the following data sets. Okay, so we're using these, this t test from statisticshowto.com, and we're going to be using an alpha level of 5%. Okay, we are solving by hand. We're not using a um, SPSS software. So step one is to sum the two groups. So we have the data set A that equals 35, data set B which equals to 50. We're going to square the sum. So 35 squared is 1,225 and 49 squared is 2,500. Calculate the means for the two groups. We're gonna go ahead and add up all the numbers and divide by the number of variables, so 10. 35 divided by 10 is 3.5. We're using the same technique for data set B. So we have 50 divided by 10, which equals 5. Step 4 is to square the individual scores and then add them up. We have 145 for um, group A and 298 for group B. We're going to be using this formula right here, and we're going to plug in these, num these numbers into this area. Okay, so you'll see we have our formula up here, and below we have a... Um, a table with all the information and how to um, and how to put the numbers in there. Okay, so we have right here we have uh, the sum a. So our sum a was 145. So let's see how to take this section right here, and then you have the sum of the data over here for group B. And we're going to go ahead and plug in these numbers continuously. Okay. You can pause and go back to see um, what numbers go in there specifically, but uh, since we're pressed for time, I'm going to go ahead and jump on to this third section right here where we have our final um, scores of t equals negative 1.69. Okay. Step six was to find the degrees of freedom. So it's Na minus 1 plus Nb minus 1, which equals 18. Then we have 18 degrees of freedom at an alpha level of point. 0 0.05, remember we're using the 5% alpha level, so that equals to 2.10. And then step eight is to compare your calculated value, which was step five, to your table value, which was step seven. The calculated value is negative 1.79, which is less than the cutoff of 2.10 from the table. Therefore, our p-value is 0 0.05. And as the p-value is greater than the alpha level, we cannot conclude that there is a difference between the means. So that is how you solve for independent t-test. And go ahead and move on to the conclusion of this presentation with um, my references. So thank you everybody for um, staying, <laughs> staying to the end of the video and uh, I wish you all well.